Hello everybody, how are you doing? My name is Robert, welcome to Guitar Control, and we're talking about making our notes sound fatter by adding some thirds. So uh, it's a very common way of harmonizing guitar, usually when you have two guitars, you know, have, you'll have one guitar player play whatever note, and then the other guitar player will play a third higher. And the uh, issue with that is, if you don't have two guitar players, <laughs> you gotta do it yourself. And a lot of people not, might not realize how simple and easy that is. So we're gonna cover all this stuff. Uh, make sure you get your tabs, That's link. that link is down below. Hit the subscribe button, and we're gonna go ahead and jump on into this one. Alrighty, so like I said, we're gonna be harmonizing a major scale in thirds. So we have our normal scale, which sounds like this. <laughs> And which sounds great, but you can really chunk it up by adding your your thirds to it. And I, I really want to kind of go over how to do that because I think sometimes when you hear these terms thirds, fifths, sixths, you know, all this kind of stuff, ninths, um, it sounds more confusing than what it actually is. It's actually pretty pretty simple. Uh, so first thing we need to do is we need to learn our scale. So we're uh, going to be using our G major scale, which looks like this. You're going to play third fret on your low E string. <laughs> Fifth fret on the A, or sorry, fifth fret on the low E. Fifth fret, or seventh fret on the low E. Wow, I am out of it today. So third, fifth, seventh on the low E string. <laughs> Same thing on the A. Third, fifth, seventh. You go down to the D string, which is going to be fourth, fifth, and seventh. The G, it's also the same, fourth, fifth, and seventh. And then the B string is going to be five, seven, eight. And the high string is five, seven, eight. Okay, so. So you so they'd be able to descend it. Now, first thing is we need to, uh, like I mentioned many times in videos, we gotta have that scaled down really, really well. To be able to freely move around and start combining notes, you need to have that initial scale down. So if you need to, sit there for a while, just play through it if you're not already comfortable with the scale. Descend it, I mean, so ascend it, then descend it. Maybe even double it. Doubling a scale can help you learn things a little bit quicker. I mention this a lot. So now that we have the scale down, let's go ahead and jump into those thirds. All right, so if you're wanting to harmonize your scale to itself with thirds, um, first thing you need to know is that we're only gonna be using notes in the scale, but you have to be able to find those notes fairly quickly on different strings. Now, um, the first note here is our G note. So to move up a third in the scale is not moving up three frets, is not just moving up three notes. This starts as one, this is your two, this is your three. So what we need to do is our G note harmonizes with our B note. Now obviously we can't play both notes on the same string at the same time to harmonize it. So what we need to do is we need to find that B note somewhere else that's fairly convenient to get to. Well, we have it right here. Basically, when you're playing a G major chord, you're harmonizing your root, your third, and your fifth together. That'd be a G major. Now, just playing those two together, we have the G, the B, which is our root and third. Now, the next note in the scale is our A note. Now, you need to move up another third in the scale. So the A is one is two, and then you need to go down to uh, your C note, which is going to be right here. So that is eighth fret, so we have, or you go one, two, three, so there's your C note. So now you're going to play fifth fret on the low E string, and third fret on the A. That's harmonizing your A note to a C note. We're going to move up to our next note here, which is going to be our B note. We need to move up a third, so one, two, three. Now we're going to play our B note and a D note together. Now we're harmonizing. Now you might not necessarily love the way that sounds, or you might really like it. I like the way that it sounds, but you can do the notes individually. palm muting sounds really cool. It sounds bigger than just going at third. It adds a lot to it. 
So now let's move on to the next string. We have a third fret on the A string, which is a C note. And we need to move up a third, so one, two, three. So we need to harmonize our C note with an E note now. So let's go down to the D string. There's an E note right here. Another thing I should point out, that this is a perfect example of the more you know the notes on the fingerboard, the easier stuff like this becomes. So we have third fret on the A and then second fret on the D. So if we added that G note in there, you would have a C major. But we don't, we just have these two. Then we're going to move up to the next note in the scale, which would be our uh, D note. A third, we'd move up to E, and you go down to F sharp. So we have five and four on the D. You just harmonize that D note with an F sharp, there's your third. So you can probably kind of see what's happening here. Um, now, if you wanted to keep going up, this would be your sixth. So you have uh, your E note, which is going to harmonize up a third. So you have one, two, three to your G note. So E harmonizes with the G. I'm sorry, with the F sharp, not G. Uh, the G harmonizes with the F sharp. And that gives you another third. And you could keep going with this scale all over the place. You know, it just keeps building. And I actually tabbed out the rest of it for you. I'm just going to play it, but uh, you can have your little sheet there if you want to check it out the rest of the way. Okay, then we go down here. Okay, so again, I'm just finding those notes. Then, um, all over the place, lots of thirds. Like I said, I tabbed out a few more examples for you if you want to kind of dive into those a little bit deeper. But just a really, really cool way. Because like I said, just like, if you had a riff that went like this. It sounds so much cooler, so much bigger sounding and just... Uh, it's it's a, a real nice way of, of adding some flavor to your notes. Alrighty guys, that is going to be it for me here today. Like I said, if you dug it, get the tab, hit subscribe. We'll be rocking on out of here. Enjoy those thirds, and I'll see you later.